You guys, that's enough already. Are you upset about something? Upset? No. You guys are planning a secret trip behind my back, aren't you? Who did you hear that from? Scarlet. When I asked her if there was anything you were hiding from me, she started to get flustered. So I knew something was up. So I found out that you were planning a trip with the other mothers. Did you threaten Scarlet again? I did threaten her. I just told her that if she didn't tell me the truth, I will tell her husband that she was secretly spending a small fortune on a celebrity crush. That's still a threat. You should quit doing things like that. The fact that Scarlet is infatuated with the celebrity doesn't matter to me. Huh. Why are you secretly planning a trip without me? You got upset with me the other day for meeting over lunch without you? Why do you keep doing the same thing over and over again? Because you keep making us pay for everything, Camilla. We're not your personal ADMs. Well, I'm the Queen Bee Mom. My money is mine. And my friend's money is mine too. What the hell is that? Stop acting like some cartoon villain. Naturally, I'll be joining in on this trip. I'll have to discuss it with the other mothers. Well, I'm the Queen Bee Mom, so for someone like me to not be invited, isn't that a little strange? I don't need permission. Even if you say that, who's in charge of the trip this time? It's me. Make sure to increase the number of people staying at the hotel. You can still adjust the number of people, right? It's a month away, so we can make changes. But what about the travel expenses? Of course you all can cover my trip costs. That's going to be difficult. We can pay for your meals, but the travel expenses are quite substantial. We can't afford both. It's not that I can't pay. I can pay. Besides, Arya. I didn't say you have to pay it alone, did I? Stop fretting. Do you remember how much you've made us pay for your expenses up until now? I don't remember all of it. The total is $3,000. Even I can't afford to spend more than that. You're troubling over $3,000? Are you poor, Arya? <laughs> it can't be helped, huh? Your husband's just an ordinary associate in the company, right? Why does it matter what my husband does? Why do you always make us spend so much money? Are you the one who's actually in financial trouble? My husband is the department head at the company, remember? He makes about twice as much as a regular associate. Then you should be able to pay for lunch and the travel expenses easily, right? I don't like to waste my own money. If the other mothers are offering to pay for something, then I consider that a perk. Are you still viewing them as wallets or something? Well, to put it bluntly, I'm the Queen Bee Mom, so it comes with privileges. You can't blame me. What makes you say that? Well, that's because my husband holds the highest position in the company, of course. If my husband is powerful, then as his wife, I'm also powerful, right? If you ever talk to me like that again, I'm going to get your husband fired. You don't have that authority. I'm sure if I told my husband, he'd fire your husband in a heartbeat. Is that so? The department head doesn't seem to be that kind of person. Anyway, if you don't want to get hurt, then do as I say. I'm sorry, but I can't. Why not? 
I already said it before, but if you have no intention of paying for your own travel expenses, then we can't travel together. If you can prepare the expenses in advance, I consider adding you to the group. What are you doing to the Queen Bee Mom? You're so cheeky compared to other mothers. I have a personality where I can be at peace unless I speak my mind. So please let me know when you're ready with the travel costs. Oh, really? Well, there are things I have to think about too. Since you all didn't let me join, I'm coming on my own accord. <laughs> Where are you? The destination for the trip is already decided, right? It's a trip with the mob friend group, and to not invite the Queen Bee Mom is crazy. I'll drive ahead of you to the trip destination and wait for you all. I'll leave it to you to arrange the travel expenses. The trip is in five days. What? You said the trip was today. The itinerary Scarlet sent says the trip was today. Actually, the first schedule we made had the wrong dates. The schedule you saw must have been the wrong one. I didn't hear anything about that. What? She didn't tell you? But I'm glad she got it wrong. I've come all the way to the destination. I'll be stuck without you all. Please come quickly. Don't be rude. We all have plans today. I don't have time to come all the way to the destination for you. What? I'm in a bind. What are you talking about? You know what will happen if you don't help me? What will happen? I'm going to leave the mob group. And your husband will be fired too. No, I'm going to fire all the other moms too. Is that good for you? Well, how about you try it? It's not possible, is it? It's possible? My husband will fire your husband as soon as I tell him. Well, the department head is saying that he doesn't intend to do such a thing. What? How do you know what my husband intends to do? Actually, he and my husband are together now. They're on a business trip together. Is that so? I remember him saying something about a business trip today. Well, when I messaged my husband about our conversation, he told me that the department head does not have the authority to fire employees in the first place. Wait a minute. You showed him this conversation? Did I do something wrong? This is not good. I didn't tell my husband about this trip. I spent so much money last month, so he said no more extravagant spending for a while. Is that right? But now he knows about the exchange we had. Then I guess he also knows about this trip. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> why are you so happy? And why are you showing him our conversation without permission in the first place? It looks like the department manager is upset about the trip. But he's more upset about you terrorizing the other moms. I think he's saying you should go on vacation for a while to cool off. What? So this means you have zero interest in helping me? Seems like you're right. <laughs> then how am I supposed to get home? Haven't you been able to reach anyone? No, I haven't. I've been trying to apologize, but I haven't gotten a response. At least he's read my message, though. Your husband must be really upset. I think my husband said the same thing. 
Please, can you try to convince my husband to help me? Well, I don't really do something that troublesome. Then please help me, Arya. Please. The department head said for me to let it be. So I'll take his word and leave it alone. Hey, we're friends, so help me out. I don't know. Isn't this your own fault? Well, I'm about to go on a shopping trip with the other mothers. So excuse me. Goodbye. Hey! Don't ignore me! Help me! I finally made it back. It was all your fault that it was so bad. Welcome back. So, how did you make it back in the end? I stayed at a business hotel using the money I had on me. The next day, I got my husband to give me some money to take the train back. Your husband forgave you? I apologized to him for about 30 times before he finally gave me the money. He said this was the last time though. Does that mean if you mess up again, he's going to divorce you? Yes. And my in-laws and my husband are going to be pissed at me when I get home today. I'm about to go through hell. Ugh, you guys have really screwed me over. If I end up divorced over this, I'm going to hate you for the rest of my life. You reap the seeds you sow. It's wrong to blame others for your own actions. I'm so pissed. I'm going to ruin your next trip. What? Are we repeating this again? Well, if that happens, I'll do whatever it takes to ruin the next trip. There won't be a next time. I don't think you should joke around. If you're not careful, things could turn bad. Shut up! This is revenge. I'm going to make you all regret turning me into an enemy. Why are you in this hotel, Camilla? I'm here to ruin the trip you guys were looking forward to. If you're going to just get in the way, please stop. But this hotel is actually quite nice. Maybe I'll go for a massage later. Do as you please. But more importantly, did you tell your husband? You didn't mention anything about this trip, right? Of course not. <laughs> I told him I was going back to my parents' home for a bit. But I'm telling you first, don't say anything unnecessary to my husband. How about that? Hey! If you say anything else, I'm going to get you for this. Well, in this situation, it seems that you don't have the upper hand. I don't know what you're talking about. If so, fine. It doesn't make me happy to be with you at all. I'm going to enjoy the spa myself. I'll contact you tomorrow. You don't have to contact us. It doesn't make sense, right? You guys will have to pay for my travel expenses as an apology for what happened before. What? Are you still saying that? Your husband and in-laws got mad at you, but you haven't learned your lesson at all. I just couldn't let you all get away with it. You didn't just leave me out of your trip. You've been deceiving me. We didn't mean to deceive you, but I think you're just misunderstood. Shut up. Anyway, you guys are paying for my trip here, so... Even if you say you can't pay, I'm definitely making you pay. Don't be rude. We only booked our own travel expenses. But the room you booked is the most expensive one, right? Of course! 
people on my level have to be in the suite. Camilla, don't tell me you didn't bring any money. There's no way I'm bringing any. I knew it. So you mean to say you're totally relying on us? Of course. It's the servant's duty to pay for the Queen Bee Mama's travel expenses. Please don't call the other mom friends servants. In other words, you're not willing to pay for the expenses. Am I correct that you came to stay the night? No, no. I'm asking you guys to pay for it. Anyway, I asked for the travel expenses, so I'll go get a massage now, I think. Wait, I don't care what happens to you. Good morning, is everyone up? We're awake. It's checkout time. I drank too much last night. Seems like it. You were enjoying yourself with loud music playing, right? You could hear it? <laughs> the other customers seemed annoyed. Anyway, I'm staying in the best room so the other guests don't have the right to complain. <laughs> what kind of theory is that? Anyway, I will collect $1,000 from each of you, so please come to my room. <laughs> they left the hotel an hour ago. What? They left without me? I didn't make a promise to check out with you from the beginning. Isn't it up to us if we leave first or not? Don't you remember the promise you made the other night? Promise? As an apology for what happened last time, you will pay for the travel expenses. I didn't make that promise. We didn't say anything, did we? Well, what should we do with this $6,000 bill then? It seems like your husband paid for it. What? What do you mean? It seems like your husband came to the spa and paid for your stay. Wait a minute. My husband came to the spa? He came about two hours ago. We greeted him too. Who called my husband? No one did. What's going on? I didn't tell my husband about this trip, of course. Actually, Camilla, I told everyone that you were planning to ruin our trip. What? So my husband already knew I was going on this trip from the beginning? That seems to be the case. After your husband contacted us to ask about your situation, and we reported everything to him including the fact that you were going to force us to pay for your hotel expenses. What are you doing these unnecessary things for? We didn't want to be bothered by you anymore. Rather than that, isn't it better you worry about your own situation? Didn't your husband say there won't be a next time? That's right. I wonder if my husband has already left. He paid and left right away. You were fast asleep. So we didn't want to wake you up. You could have woken me up. Your husband doesn't want to see you anymore. So I didn't dare wake you up. What? He said he was taking the kids back to his parents' house. Shouldn't you go after him immediately? How troublesome! Hey, if this continues, I'm going to get divorced. Help persuade my husband to stay together. You'll help me, right? We're mom friends, right? Please answer quickly. I got the alert that something was urgent, but it's just you, Camilla. I'm still enjoying my trip here, though. Don't act so carefree on this trip. This is not the time for that. 
What in the world is going on? When I got home, I found divorce papers. The letter said I had to leave within two weeks at the latest. What should I do? Sign the divorce papers. Why don't you just move out of the house by the due date? If you can't keep your word to your husband, he said he would divorce you, right? Why are you talking as though it's someone else's problem? That's because it is someone else's business. I don't care if you're divorced or not. I don't care if they force you to leave your house. That's awful! I'm the Queen Bee Mom and I'm in trouble, so help me! Why are you still saying that? If you divorce your husband, then you're no longer the wife of the department head. So there's nothing for you to intimidate us with. But I'm not divorced yet, so I'm still the department head's wife. So, what is it? Don't tell me. You're going to fire us if I don't do what you say. I won't say it again. I don't have the authority. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> Please, help me. Well, the money we've covered for you until now. If you pay it back to me right now, I'll consider it. Are you threatening me? No, I'm not. I just want it back as soon as possible. The $3,000, I'd like it back immediately. There's no way I have that kind of money. Even if you didn't, I'll definitely make sure we get it back though. What? If you don't intend to pay it back, we're prepared to take legal action. Actually, Scarlet has a lawyer friend who we can ask. I've already consulted with a lawyer. A lawyer? Right now, the topic of money is not as important as the divorce. Anyway, please help me. Even if I intervened? Besides, it's strange for a mother's friend to get involved in a couple's problem. That's not true. As friends, it's our duty to help each other, right? I'm sorry, Camilla, but I don't consider you a friend. Also, the other moms are tired of you too, Camilla. No one wants to help you. That's not true. You brought this upon yourself. We can't do anything and we don't intend to help you. Don't say such cruel things. I apologize for everything in the past. It's too late now. I know it'll be tough going forward on your own. I hope you will be able to live strongly. Goodbye. In the end, Camilla and her husband officially divorced. The custody of the child went to the father in accordance with the child's wishes. Camilla seems to have been off playing and did not properly take care of the child. She also seems to have been taking money out of the savings her husband had saved up prior to marriage. And it seems like she was also being asked to repay it back. Of course, we also ask for the money we lend to be returned. Perhaps Camilla was afraid of going to court, so she returned it all at once. With this, we cut all ties with her. And it seems like all the other moms blocked Camilla on Facebook. I'm sure she's going to have some tough days ahead. But... I have no sympathy for her. <laughs>